Hello, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer, and today we're taking a look at Arcade Tycoon on the PC for our latest 10 minute taster. Um, I haven't played it yet, even though it says resume. Uh, I've come into it once to load it up, and I did notice there was a problem with it going full screen. It doesn't seem to like that on my PC, it only goes windowed, so I'm not sure how this recording will come out, but let's get cracking. Um, I think we start with a campaign and see how we go from there. So, right, tutorial your garage, rent free, unit small, location village, economy, good, tax 0%, sunny weather. It all starts here. Right, so I think you're basically in the business of building an arcade, which is all good. So, let's get cracking. Arcade Tycoon. Right, checklist. Token machine, arcade machine, customer toilet, food vendor, drinks vendor, ATM machine, each staff member in a staff room. Welcome to Arcade Tycoon. This tutorial should help teach you the basics. Let's start with moving around. Hold the middle mouse button or use the arrow keys to pan the camera. Okay, yeah. In and out as well, nice. To run a successful arcade, you need to make sure you have the essentials. Without them, your customers may get angry or even leave. Token machines, toilets, food, drink, and of course, arcade machines are the essentials. You need these so that your arcade can function properly and cater to the needs of your customers. Click on the amenities and utilities button on your hood. Oh, there you go. Okay, token machine. The menu contains all of the available amenity machines and utilities that you can purchase. Now select a token machine from the list. Is that me talking machine? 800. Alright, we're going to go with the 800 version. Great, now choose somewhere to place it. Red tiles indicate the area is blocked. Orange tiles are points of access. And green indicates the placement is valid. To build, use left click. You can rotate using right click and cancel with backspace. Oh, look, it's raining. Um, where shall I put my token machine? I'll put it there. It has to be indoors. I'm overthinking my token machine already. <laughs> Okay, right, now that your guests have somewhere to purchase tokens, they're going to need somewhere to spend them. Click and open the attractions menu on your herd. Okay, right now you only have access to the retro category. Select a machine from that list and place it into your arcade. What we got? Beast. Unleash your inner beast and prowl the night like a toppest of cats. All similar prices. Um, what we got here? We've got Crimson. Damo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Okay, can't afford that. What we've got here, Cobra. Feel the venom in your veins, strike down your enemies with killer venomous bites. And we've got Abduction. You wake up in the middle of a field, your head hurts, all your money is gone, you stink of booze. It's happened again. You were abducted by aliens, now you must get home. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this. Okay, right, now you have. You only have access to the retro cut. Oh, yeah, I've done that bit. So where do I want this to be? I'd like to build like a arcade along the walls. There, that'd be cool. Okay, perfect. To allow customers to use these machines, they need to be turned on. To do this, left click on them to open their interface. The panel shows the details of the machine. Here you can manage its settings as well as view its durability, pricing and more. You can even upgrade its quality. For now, let's just turn it on by clicking on the power switch. All arcade machines vary on durability which decreases with every use. Poor quality machines decrease at a much faster rate. Once fully depleted, a machine will eventually break down and explode. It's a bit um, dramatic. Turn this one on as well. Oh, no, can't yet. 
Broken machines can be repaired by calling in a specialist. You can do this by left clicking the specialist repair button. Where's that? Specialist repair button. Oh, there he is, yeah, specialist. Um, you'll be charged a fee based on the value of the machine. When machines explode, they can sometimes electrocute your customers. This is bad and causes them to be unhappy. Customer happiness is important if you want to run a successful arcade. Power is one of your arcade's most valuable resources. It is shown as two numbers inside the power bar on your hot bar. The top number is power remaining and the bottom number shows your power maximum. So down here, power remaining, 800 out of 1000 by the looks of it. Again, because it's not showing me the full screen in this windowed view. I can't seem to change it, which is odd. Um, anyway, click on the power bar to open up the power window. This window lets you purchase more power for you to use on machines in your arcade. The plus and minus buttons raise and lower the power and the buy button purchases the power. Go ahead and purchase another 250 more power now. Right, buy it. Brilliant. Make sure to keep on top of your power as running out or turning too many machines on while you don't have enough could cause a meltdown which can cause your machines to also explode. Exploding machines are the uh, way of the arcade by the sounds of it. Rather than calling in a specialist you can choose to employ a technician as well as other staff members from the staff window to work in your arcade for a monthly wage. Okay. The four staff types are technician, cleaners, security and entertainers, each with their own abilities. Head to staff to the staff window on your HUD now, select a technician to employ and then place him in your arcade. Right, so that's staff, and I need a technician. Monthly colours, loves nature. He's a little bit quicker for only two dollars more. He's quite quick. Respair, repair speed, three three eight, three eighty. The difference between Mr. 338 and Mr. 354. Stamina. What does stamina mean? Can eat 23 pancakes in two minutes. Geezer. Um, I'm gonna go with this guy. Right. He's gonna come here and drop into my arcade. Good stuff. Now right click on the technician to open up the details panel. What's he doing? Cleaning the wall. We'll get someone near him. Right click on him. I can't. Got him. That was a bit tough. Maybe I need to, oh yeah, I need to zoom in a bit. Forgot about that. Anywho, from here you uh, you're able to view all of their stats, perks, needs, their current wage and their experience level. Okay. To make your star, make sure your staff are working in optimal condition, you must provide them with at least one staff room. Staff room gives your staff somewhere to rest and regain their energy. Without one, your staff may decide to quit and leave. Open up the amenities and utilities window on your HUD. Select and purchase staff room and then place it in your arcade. Um, what's that? Staff room, that is a tiny old staff room. <laughs> Alright, I'll go in with that. More like a phone box. It has to go in here, right. Put him next to the uh, machine. Okay. Uh, you can access the staff room from your HUD by clicking on it. Over time your staff members will gain experience. Eventually your staff will reach a promotion point which you can spend on a perk or boost to their stats from their details panel. Staff room, can I change it? E, G, F, H, Q. Wow, it's like a TARDIS. It's amazing. 
Uh, this is where your staff will come to rest and replenish their needs in its basic form provide adequate boost to each staff member's hunger, thirst, happiness, energy, toilet needs. You can purchase upgrades to improve the room and get your staff back into the arcade floor quicker. I think it's bloody great. As it is. This comfy sofa will help your staff relax and recover from a long day on the arcade floor. Have I got enough money to buy that? Okay, well let's stick to the um, tutorial. You can also view customer information like this. Open your arcade by clicking the red open sign if you haven't already. Then right click on a customer to open up the detail. Oh, come on, let's come out of here. I need to connect this first. Right, okay, so that's on. Then I need to, what do I need to do? Click on this, we're open. Then right click on a customer to open up their details to view more information about them. No customers yet, mate. It's alright, let's have a look in here. New trend, your customers started following a new trend. Check the tra trends window to see what arcade machines are currently trending. Where is the trends window? We've got objectives, upgrades, unlockables, finances, marketing, summaries, staff, staff room, attractions, decorations, management tools. There's a big customer. Oh, look, there's a customer. Ben Ropar. Each customer has four need meters. Happiness, hunger, thirst, and toilet. Keep your customers happy by fully filling their needs and thoughts. Failing to perform a desired action causes the customer's happiness to drop. Okay. I'm guessing I need a toilet, right? Making sure that customers have access to toilets, food, and drink, utilities, as well as different arcades, should allow your customers to fulfill their needs. Go ahead and now and purchase these from the amenities, utilities, menu on your hard Right, okay, so toilet, food, drink. Food, it'll have to be this. Uh, yeah, put it there. Alright, then drink. Okay, then we need a toilet. Ooh, the toilet. Little pool, -a Great. Also, from the customer details panel, you can see the cash your customers have, how much they've spent, how many tokens and tickets they have, as well as customer faults. You can help indicate what your customers want. When customers become happy, they contribute towards your arcade rating. Your arcade rating is an overall score, as well as a breakdown of each aspect of your arcade. Open it now by clicking on the arcade rating emoticon button on your hood. Okay, so the availability of your drink outlets, how fair your drinks prices are, variety of drinks, your overall drinks rating. From here you can see what areas your arcade is falling well in, as well as areas you may need to improve. Left clicking on each category will show a further breakdown. Okie dokie, I think. One of the big things that can affect your arcade rating is litter and rubbish. The more litter and rubbish around your arcade, the lower your cleanliness score will be. You can place down bins to help prevent customers from dropping rubbish, employ a cleaner, or you can manually clean the rubbish using the litter picker tool located on your HUD in the management tools menu. Let's open it now. Okay, so we're going in here. Great, this shows the appeal values of each tile in your arcade. Red tiles indicate negative values and green tiles indicate positive ones. You can also see the categories make up each value. Use right click to disable it. Oh, okay. Oh, litter pickle up. Go around picking up after. Oh yeah, look, I haven't plugged that in yet. 
Is it, uh, can I turn it on? Why can't I turn that on? Can I turn this on? Oh, yeah. Didn't know that a toilet needed to be turned on, but there you go. What's the matter with this? Not sure why that all got turned off. Anyway, management tools, litter picker. I need bins. And the ban. Right, where's the bins? Upgrades, finances, summary stuff. Actions, amenities, and utilities. Why don't that? Oh. Not sure. Oh, appeal. You can also see the categories that make up. Right click to disable it. Right, okay. Some tools and menus are locked behind the research and unlockables window. Open it up now from your HUD. If clicking it now. Oh, yeah. From here you can spend stars to unlock perks and upgrades to improve your arcade and the machines in it. For now, the hardwood machines upgrade has been made free. Go ahead and purchase it to improve the durability of your machines. Nice. Stars are a resource that you gain when customers play on your arcade machines. These are displayed in the bottom right of your screen on your HUD above your cash. Right, let's see. You can access a breakdown of your finances from the finances menu on the HUD. Go ahead. Open it now. Ucha patuza. From here, you can see a detailed breakdown of your income and outgoings from the last six months, as well as your total net profit from each month. You can also choose to take out a loan from one of the available schemes, unlocked by completing each of the objectives. Let's go over objectives. Each level has objectives that give you rewards for completing them. Click on the objectives button on your HUD. Here, completing bronze will unlock the next level. Silver will unlock an arcade subcategory, and gold will award you a cash prize. Difficulty can be changed in the settings menu. Accessibility accessible by pressing the escape button or the gear icon on your HUD. And that's the basics. The rest is up to you. Make sure you keep your customers happy and satisfied. Good luck. Choose a name for your arcade. Or well, obviously, it's the games freezer. Accept. Unlocked a £1,000 grant. Continue. Right, what we're saying here. New trend. Lightning strike. Lightning strike from a nearby storm has hit a section of the UK causing a small power outage. Oh, is that what happened earlier? Uh, new trend. Research complete. You've completed research in an upgrade. Head to the research and unlockables. Right, okay. Right, so I need a lot of stars, don't I? Well, so I need to really think about restaurant stars as my next objective. My checklist is thus ATM machine, staff member. Oh, each type of staff member. Maybe I need to buy a new machine to begin with as well. So I need to do some litter picking. I think I'm going to enjoy litter picking. It would be good if I could spin the camera. Can I not do that? Oh. Right, okay. So, how much cash have I got? 4,000 or not. Right, so if I go back in here, right, I need... Can I get a bin? Utility. What looks cool? This one. Put it by the toilet. And get the little picker out. Little picker. Go toilet, you spoon. What's that mean? Oh, do I need to litter pick? No poo. Is that what that means? I don't even know what that means. Do I need more bins? 
decorations. Yeah, let's go with some cool wallpaper. Yellow. That is yellow. Okay. Uh, new machine. What one haven't I got yet? Crimson. Yeah, I haven't got crimson yet. Pop that in there. Silver. Unlocked objects. Right, okay. What's this dude? Dom Rotter. So he's looking all right. Train your staff. Can I get a perk? Stamina. Use a perk from the list below to grant your staff member. Inspired. Efficiency increases skill stat. Increased repair speed. 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 Oh, I see. General. Proactive. Hunger bar depletes slower. Iron bladder. Reduce stamina consumption yet. Yeah. Right, that is good. Should I get him to take a break? His tiredness saying. It's alright. Maybe I need more staff. Uh, maybe people need to stop dropping litter on the floor. There's a bin over here. It's the smallest arcade ever. And he's... What's the matter with this? Do I need a cleaner? Is that what I need? Cleaner, yeah. Security, entertainers, cleaners. 357... 386262. Go with that two six two one, I reckon. Will it do the toilet? Yeah, it does the toilet. Assuming that's what the problem is with that. Ooh, family inheritance. A distant relative will left you some money in their will. Four thousand pounds has been added to your account. Hurrah! Toilet blockage. The toilet has overflowed due to a blockage. Just reduce capacity until the cleaner has cleaned up the mess. Ah, right. So that's what I needed to do, and that's what I did. So you can go a poo now. I've still got to turn this one on. On. Right. Should we get another one in there? Now I've had an inheritance windfall. Get this in there as well. That's cool. Turn it on. Yep. Okay. Right, uh, what else can I do here? Another bin, maybe? Actually, I'd rather put another machine in there. Shall I get another... Uh, one of these in there. Beast. Turn it on. We're on. Or oh, maybe I need, I need more power. Uh, buying more cells or reducing your power consumption. New trend. Right, where do I get power from again? Down here, isn't it? Get 1,200. Okay. Right, we are good. We've got more people in here now. Why are you unhappy? Oh, she disappeared. Who can't work it out? Oh, Pete White. Okay, game is great. What about this little dude? Matthew Bailey. Favorite type. First. Okay. Maybe I need some more drinks. Machines. Oh, look. Stylish ATM. Right, let's go with drinks.
soda can vendor. Well, that's pretty cool. That one. Okay. So, uh, let's pick up this rubbish. Got my cleaner out. Uh, okay, so I need to buy each staff member, don't I? To, oh, that's the staff room. Staff member, where are you? Right, so I've got a technician, I've got a cleaner. I need some security. Perception speed, perception. This guy. He seems alright. Kane Walker. Oh, why is it paused? Click to open contract selection. Uh, I don't know why that's done that. I must have pressed something. Anywho. Right, so. What am I doing? Decorate walls and floor, build three arcades, bank balance up to 10 grand, right, okay. Decorate walls, ah, oh, I need walls and floor, right, so we're gonna go decorate floor. Oh yes, now we're talking. This has got to be this one, right? This is the classic flooring. Congratulations, you complete the objectives on this level. Keep playing. Bronze unlock new street. I want to do the carpet, please. Oh, that's a bit silly. I should be able to put the carpet in without having to move the floor in. But there you go. Oh, I don't know if she'll have to move the floor in it, just do it. Yeah, right, cool. Take it back. Ooh, I think. This becomes a little bit unwieldy when you've got a load of things going on in there, but that's all good. Oh, yeah, that, that's better. Okay, so what else do I want to do in here? Uh, oh, Gamer Rage. What's game of rage? One of your customers has just lost their nerve and has started taking it out on your machines. Get security or escort them out before they cause any more damage. Who's that? I think he's doing his job, isn't he? Empty rubbish bin. Alright, all good. Got a cleaner in there. So what else could I buy? Oh, I can upgrade the, um, what was it on? I can't remember what it was on there. Here we go. Restaurant licenses or food licenses? Uh, drinks licenses or food licenses? Let's go with this one, food. Oh, is this now researching it? Checklist is all ticked, isn't it? Oh no, I haven't hired every. I need an ATM machine. I haven't hired a staff of every kind, have I? 306, 510. Let's go with him. John Young. There you go, Frankenstein. What was the other thing I was going to do? Can't remember now. Oh, ATM machine, right, yep. Yeah. Amenities and utilities. Utility. Just put that in there. And I've ticked all of the uh, things that I wanted to do then. Turn it on. Looking good, looking good. All our machines there.
Do I have to send my staff on breaks? See if I can research complete. You completed researching an upgrade. Head to the research and unlockable screen to start researching something else. Okay, okay. Right, so does that mean I can go and get more types of what is it? Food? I was yeah. Oh look, yeah. I don't think I can fit any more. I mean, I could put it on this wall here, yeah, can I? One six. 250. Let's go in with a cheap. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Money is being spent. School's out. The local school is closing for the holidays. You have sent a group of their children to your arcade as a reward. Thank you very much. It's going to all kick off in here, isn't it? <laughs> it's all going on. Um mean Don Rot has gone up another level I think like give him another perk which is gonna be inspired efficiency increase to skill stack gone geezer are Resting, walking, entertaining customers. They're all relatively happy. Machines. Oh, reliability, terrible. Stylish ATM. Can I upgrade the machines now? Look, I can upgrade the beast. Unreliable. Bye. So each one, oh no, toilet blockage. Where's my cleaner? Oh god. Good pick up. It's alright. Probably need another toilet, really, don't I? I mean, it's in utilities, toilets. Quality terrible. Got that little wooden one. I'm gonna go with the portal again because I don't think I've got anything else in there, can I? It's like literally jammed everything in there. Can I move this? I can, can't I? No, I can't. Maybe because somebody's in there. Oh no, that's a person. Move. That's it. Game of rage. Oh, it's all going on in here. Rage quit. One of your customers just lost their nerve. Floor develop. Your sweep scion has he's been having a rough time recently. Due to this, they have developed a floor mechanic procrastination. Oh, my God. Machine breakdown. One of your machines is broken down. Make sure you have enough mechanics to deal with it. Keeping all your arcade machines working order. Taxman. You had a poor year. I'll come back when you're making a little more cash. Oh, my God. It's all kicking off. New trend. Started following a new trend. Check the trends. Don't know where that is. Toilet blockage. Right. What do I deal with? <laughs> Take your pick. Right. On. Uh, what's this saying? On. And what's this saying? Mm. Little picker. Little picker. Okay. Can I? Oh, still getting a bit. I don't want Iron Burns, I want him. Ah. Can I give him a perk? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Okay, right, let's move on to the next level. Can I do that still? I'm not sure that I can, can I? It won't let me do that now, will it? Objectives. Oh yeah, next level. Would you like to save before you quit? Yeah. Uh, this one. Games freezer one. Of course. 
Right, there you go. I think that was um, a pretty good little 10 minute taster actually. It's always going to be called the Games Freezer, so you don't need to ask me every time. I'll call it the Games Freezer 2. Oh, not 3, 2. Yeah, cracking little game. It's quite feels quite simple, but involved enough that you're going to get lost in it while you're doing all your research into new games, etc, etc. Trying to work out what your best setup is and how, how best to arrange things. I like all that. Um, so in the new level, token machine, arcade machine, customer toilet, food vendor, drinks vendor. New trend, okay. All good. Um, so far it's got a lot of uh, positive reviews on Steam as well, which is always a good indication. Um, so yeah, so far, liking it, liking it a lot. I'm going to take what I've learned from the first time around to set up my next arcade, hopefully. I'll be able to um, make an even better fist of it this time around. So let's turn that on. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed the video, press like because it really does help us in order to get more um, games into the games freezer, which is always good. And that helps us to help you make decisions on games that you might want to buy. Um, we get loads to come through. And we try to play as many as we can in order to... Uh, Give you that insight into the wonderful world of indie games um we're over on uh instagram and we're on twitter um and we're at games freezer we're also at our website which is www.gamesfreezer.co.uk which is where we post all our gaming articles um as well as uh, a new feature that brit has been doing on video game vinyl which is absolutely intriguing um, as he works his way through some of the greatest video game music and vinyls that are out there at the moment in the video game world so um, until next time my friends I will be left putting some carpet on my new um, floor of my new arcade and trying to work out what colour the walls are going to be next. Oh look, we've even got some pictures. Didn't see those last time, did I? So, till next time my friends, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Hey.